Hey, what's up everyone? Passive Baller here. We now have our predictions for December 6, 2023. We have a lot of games for December 6 for that said game day. And to kick things off, uh, we will be talking about this Eastern Conference matchup between Washington Wizards and Philadelphia 76ers. That'll happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not uh, subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Philadelphia 76ers approaching this game and they are having a record of 12 wins and 7 losses. They are having a good start for this season. While Washington Wizards, uh, they are doing otherwise. Um, they have a record of 3 wins and 16 losses. As we all know, we actually provide free, pick, uh, free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Passe Baller. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or our premium packages, you can actually reach us through our um, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger accounts. Just uh, check on the descriptions of our videos and you can see the details right there. All right, so here we go. Washington Wizards, uh, they will be enjoying the home court advantage of this matchup. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both teams are coming off rest. Uh, quite long rest for these players. So, uh, you know, it's a good thing for, uh, for, for, for both teams approaching this game so we can just skip that part now in terms of momentum uh both teams are actually coming off losses i mean philadelphia 76ers approaching this game they are on back-to-back -back losses uh washington wizards um they are also coming off back-to-back -back losses so um maybe we can just skip that part but again if i gotta if i gotta pick one team uh who has the advantage in terms of momentum of, that's obvious. We got to pick Philadelphia 76ers. Of course, the confidence is still there. They are at number four in the Eastern Conference uh, as compared to Washington Wizards, where they are at number 14. Now, let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Now, I'm seeing here uh, one player listed for Philadelphia 76ers, and that's DeAnthony Melton. Uh, the good thing about uh, the Anthony Melton is that he is listed as probable for this game. So uh, there's this high possibility that he will be suiting up. Now for uh, Washington Wizards, I see five players listed. Um, Dillon Wright and Ryan Rollins. Uh, both are confirmed out. Well, we got Jordan Poole, Landry Shamit, and Johnny Davis all listed as questionable for this game or under game time decision. So... This one's quite obvious, Philadelphia 76ers, uh, they only have one player listed, and uh, that player, who is melted, is even probable to play. So, obviously, Philadelphia 76ers, they have the advantage in terms of health and availability. By the way, the spread that is given currently is at minus 9.5. I guess it actually opened up with minus 9, obviously, pointing towards Philadelphia, but currently it's now at minus 9.5, so it's actually going up. Uh, I don't want to overthink stuff, you know. Um, of course, and it's obvious, Philadelphia 76ers is the better team. Uh, the, the question left hanging here is whether they would be able to cover the spread or not. Now, the problem, you know, the problem that we have whenever we pick Philadelphia 76ers and they sometimes, you know, they sometimes lose, whenever, but we feel like it's like a sure thing, is that whenever they actually sit and be out for that game you know just out of nowhere they would just actually plan to you know rest and beat now in this particular game i'm not actually seeing any you know anything like that of course nothing is impossible in this crazy world but uh considering the fact that you know they've been through uh all the all teams have gone through some rest i don't think um Embiid would be given, you know, that uh, extra rest that they did, you know, prior. So I think Embiid will be playing. And again, just like what I said, the Anthony Melton is even probable to play. So if that happens, all players in Philadelphia would be available and would be playing as compared to Washington Wizards, where in uh, their star player, one of their star players, Jordan Poole, is even questionable to play. 
honestly, Washington Wizards, they have been improving lately, although uh, most of their wins haven't been converted into actual W. Uh, most of their games, rather, have not been converted into actual wins. If you take a look at those uh, games one by one, they have been improving, you know. They have been improving. Uh, their defense is, is still a bit soft, but again, they are improving. Uh, but against Philadelphia 76ers, I guess um, they won't have enough, you know, enough uh, defense, enough offense to actually uh, go toe to toe with Philadelphia. Um, Washington Wizards, they are a, they are a good defense, uh, they are a decent offensive team, but against uh, Philadelphia 76ers, they are big, they are fast. I wonder, I wonder if they would be able to actually uh, last for like maybe you know up to third quarter with you know with the kind of offense that Washington is presenting. I know they also have this very good defender in, in, in the Daniel Gafford, but Embiid is just bigger, just stronger in, uh, whenever they go into the paint. So my pick will be Philadelphia 76ers, minus 9.5. I'm actually looking at this, um, and there's this, for me, highly likely this will be a double-digit win for Philadelphia. So my pick would be Philadelphia, minus 9.5. Again, that's Sixers, minus 9.5. Peace out. Pass I love it. God bless.